My name is Vahid Chitas Paleli Mastermind Group. Thank you for being here this morning. Go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody. Let us know where you're tuning in from. Awesome. Thank awesome. you so much for having me on. Um, welcome, everyone. Happy uh, Friday, I believe. It's about 9 o'clock a.m. out here in Maui, Hawaii. A little, little cloudy this morning, but yeah, it's super good to be on here with all you guys. Thanks for jumping on. Awesome. So let's let's talk about entrepreneurship. You know, I think it's interesting to see around the globe, a lot of individuals, especially this time, they are trying to get their business going on their own so they're not relying on someone else or other entity or employer to be generating income for their family. As an entrepreneur, can you give us like two tips how to start? How do you get it going? And then we're going to go into people that have been in that realm for many, many years and we can give them some tips. But let's, let's start with the beginners. Yeah, so for beginners, I know there's a lot of them, you know, with the coronavirus, I hope everyone's staying safe, staying quarantined. You know, there's never been a better time to go inward, um, to treat this quarantine like it's a cocoon. So that way you can learn and grow yourself and grow, grow skill sets during this time and arise so much more valuable to society and successful. So for me, the biggest piece of advice is, is just getting started. You know, the biggest thing with entrepreneurship is, you know, the, the thing I learned about is like skydiving and having to build your parachute on the way down. You know, with entrepreneurship, you kind of just got to jump in the game and, and just get started and surround yourself with the community, surround yourself with other entrepreneurs. You know, a big part about it is just trying to reverse engineer the life that you want. That's what I, that's what I teach people is called the life by design. You know, everyone, there's a million ways to make a million dollars. Go out there and find a way someone's already doing it that you'll be passionate about and, and reverse engineer how they did it. Find a better way to do it. You know, for me, I've always been inspired and I dropped out of college eight years ago um, because I saw all the entrepreneurs online. I saw all the businesses on social media. And, you know, I realized that my textbooks in school weren't keeping up with the times. Um, and now I'm thankful that I found mentors online, literally through Instagram, through Facebook, through YouTube that have taught me so much about online marketing, online business, e-commerce, foreign exchange, cryptocurrency, videography, content creation. I like to call myself an omnipreneur. Um, you know, the best way to go about being an entrepreneur is to learn how to be a self-sufficient, resourceful machine. You know, it's like, that's the best way. I've learned how to do my own websites, do my own videos, do my own sales, you know, and that's what's made me a beast the last eight years. You know, I'm only 28 years old. I've made over $2 million online. And, you know, I've literally ran up almost a seven-figure income online just since the quarantine. So there's never been a better time to work online, guys. It's good that you guys are on this call. This is an awesome place to start with us and my elite mastermind. So here's my question. That's fantastic. Keep up the good work. And I know this is just the, this is just the tip of the iceberg. You just start. It's, I mean, it helps if you're in Maui with the weather, with the ocean. It kind of helps too. You got a beautiful view over there. You know, the yeah. Hana is, is my favorite. Uh, Maui is my, my, my favorite spot. I keep telling, awesome. I, I, I've been to the other islands, but Maui, for sure, for sure, hands down yeah. is the best. So here's my question, Darren. How do you plan that? When you get online, I know there's like an overwhelming amount of information that you go, I mean, just <laughs> if you put online business on YouTube, you probably get like a billion searches and results. So how would you say you could narrow it down possibly? How would you do that? I'd say, you know, it starts with trying to find the skill sets that can be used throughout a lot of industries. You know, for me, when I came in, I started with network marketing. You know, for me, network marketing made a lot of sense because I was a broke college student. I had no job. I had no money. I had to sell my Xbox um, back in 2013 to buy my first, you know, online business. And, you know, thankfully, I got put on to personal development. You know, I've been able to meet people like Bob Proctor and Les Brown and, you know, some of the most motivational people on planet Earth. And, you know, a lot of it was just because, you know, I jumped into network marketing, learned how to grow my mind, do personal development. And from there, you, you attract the reality. You attract higher quality people. You know, it's like that's you're, you're a product of the people you surround yourself with. If you could start to cut ties with those people, you know, quarantine yourself and grow yourself, you'll come out of it attracting new people you know I, t I tell a lot of my my mentor my mentees right now you know i quarantined myself in 2013 
I was a broke college student and all my friends were just addicted to being unsuccessful and partying. So I had to quarantine myself in school for like literally 90 days. I just did my first network marketing company. You know, I learned how to sell a vitamin product. I learned how to promote health products, but I did a lot of personal development. And 90 days out of that quarantine, I, I came out and, you know, was able to drop out of school and start my online journey like back in 2013 and have been riding the wave ever since, guys. So best way is to for sure find a business that you could be passionate about. For me, I loved Red Bull. So an energy drink, a healthy product in college made sense. Right now, you know, I love to trade. I love to invest in the crypto and help people learn about the financial markets. Um, so I personally am choosing to build a company around spreading that type of education and knowledge. So, yeah. That is awesome. So here's guys. my question. Give us a little bit of a routine. Let's say you wake up. Tell us what time you, what time you sleep. What time you wake up? What are the first things, the first four or five things that you do in the morning to get your start jumping as an entrepreneur? Because when we're, because we're, when we're an employee, we are forced to be there on time. Yeah. But when we're a business owner, there's no set schedule. So how do you go about doing that? So one of the coolest things, guys, is I remember back in the day when I used to have to set an alarm. You know, I have to wake up to go to class, wake up to you know, go to work and teach surf lessons, which is the only job I've ever had, um, you know, back in the day. For me, you know, when you're an entrepreneur and you, your goals and, and your, your vision is so excited, you jump out of bed without an alarm clock. Typically, I'll wake up at 8 or 9 a.m., which is around right now. I don't need an alarm clock. Like, I just need that sleep and I wake up and I, I just want to get back on the grind, you know, and that's how you know you're on the right path. Uh, my routine is big. You know, a lot of this is they say success is found in your daily routine. Uh, your habits create the results in your life, um, especially when you're being your own boss. You know, a lot of people are used to being bossed around. They're not used to bossing themselves around. So if you have to discipline yourself, make sure you have a schedule. For me, I like to wake up, you know, take some, make some green juices or green smoothies, fuel my body with healthy, high vibrational foods. It fuels your brain, fuels your mind for the rest of the day. Um, I typically like to exercise, go to the beach, jump in the ocean, give myself an hour or two to just, you know, charge up. And then I come home and work all day. And I usually go back out at sunset and surf. And, you know, Hawaii, it's the perfect place to design this type of lifestyle. I typically wake up, free dive and surf and work out, work for like all day while it's super hot and everyone else is getting sunburned. And I go back out at sunset, you know, have fun, enjoy I live in the moment and then come back and work all night till like midnight. So that's kind of my routine when I'm in the middle of a business launch. It's like, you know, about 10 a.m. till, you know, maybe sunset. Then I take that break in the morning and at sunset and I grind all the way till midnight. And then I sleep from like 12 to 9 a.m. So that's been my routine since the quarantine. Um, but it's, it's been actually pretty nice and very productive. So <laughs> that is awesome. How does one entrepreneur come up with a business plan? Should you do the business plan first yourself and then run it by your mentor? Should you, how would you, how would you write a, write a business plan? Now I know a lot of entrepreneurs, they got their business plan here and they just run it. But what is your recommendation on a business plan? So for me, you know, I went and started my first company last year. I started an ocean conservation company called Protect, um, P-R-O-2-T-E-C-T, -E something I'm very passionate about. You know how beautiful Hawaii is. We got to protect this place for every person to see. Um, but, you know, for me, it's all about working smarter, not harder. I know, like, I remember taking business classes in college and learning about a business plan, but that was like seven years ago. So when I went to make a business plan, I went on Fiverr and I went and found the best person and I paid them and hired someone overseas through Fiverr I um, mean, I had them, you know, send me question and answer, and they literally helped me type up an amazing business plan. And that's my foundation, you know. I mean, eventually I'll probably partner with my mentor and sit down with them in Vegas when the lockdown's over so he can go over that. But for me, when I built my rough draft, I would recommend Fiverr or Upwork. Find someone with an amazing price value but with tons of good reviews. And, you know, these people are so good at it they're helping people write up business plans all day for like 50 to 100 bucks so you know working smarter not harder and leveraging your resources with the information age is huge so five if you have to give us one skill that an entrepreneur that want to do online business whatever it is i mean these days it's very stupid to say online business because everything is online already so sometimes people have a lot, lot of historical vision of what an online business is 
Amazon is online. So, it, I mean, everything is online. You know, yeah. DMV is online. You could say it's an online. So everything is online. We're not just talking about online business. We're talking about everything in totality. What is the number one skill that you think entrepreneurs need to learn if they're going to take their business currently and expand it online? I'd say the biggest secret to, you know, what's allowed me to win so well is, is content creation. You want to be a content creator. Um, you know, that's something so many people aren't, uh, thankfully, because I was in Hawaii and social media and iPhones came out and Instagram came out. It was like I was posting these sunsets and dolphins and whales. So I've always been a content creator. That's always been my biggest advantage is that no matter what I do, I can make the photos, I can make the videos, I can create the websites, I can create the YouTube content. So, you know, it makes it to where people can always follow your journey. People can see the authenticity. They can feel the vibes of your life without having to be there. So for me, being able to make videos has been a game changer. Um, you know, a lot of businesses I've done when I'm talking to all my clients and customers, I get busy. I can't even talk to as many people physically as I want to because there's so many people on the internet um, you know with videos it's about leveraging automation having your your speaking on automation so that way you don't have to talk to a thousand people a day you can make a good video and have a video present for it to a thousand people a day while you spend time at the beach like I do so you know that's really what it's about guys one book I'd recommend I learned a lot from is four hour work week you know that book inspired me to want to make millions but while working four hours a week, not 40 hours a week, you know? So that's always the goal, guys, is learning how to automate your weaknesses, focus on your strengths. You know, I'm going to work on a course here in the next month teaching people how to use photo editing, video editing. I'm going to make it super affordable. You know, one of my goals is to teach everyone everything I've learned to help them on their journey, you know? So I'm going to create an institute with a very low ticket uh, training on how to do sales, marketing, videography, photography, every skill set that I've kind of mastered that's allowed me to excel in any company I've ever joined. So, you know, that's a big good job. Guys. Awesome. Keep Fun up the good work, you. brother. I appreciate you taking this busy time out of your schedule and being with us. Hopefully we could do a lot more and then definitely send us some of those fit photos from, from, from Maui. We're always take, interested to see Maui. Let me take you guys outside real quick. The sun just came out. It's a beautiful day. Beautiful day out here. <laughs> awesome, Maui, Maui. So how far are you from uh, from Hana Drive? Uh, I live on the south side. So that drive probably takes an hour, and we're, like, right at the start of it. So going to go out there sometime later this month. <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah, I've done the whole thing. That, that thing that's it. That thing is not short at all. That thing is not short at all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen, thank you so much for being here. Hopefully we can do more. Looking forward to it. Always happy to help, man. Have a beautiful day, everyone. You got it. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.